someone out there? I could use your assistance. I'm quite trapped in here. Oh. My thanks. Hear me out if you want to escape this place. You were on the cart. I saw you before those witches caught us and tossed me in this stone box. Glad you're finally awake. Apologies for my ghastly appearance. I'm not feeling my best. Our precise location. I can only speculate. Somewhere in western Skyrim, I suppose. I was involved in my own investigation when the Ice Reach Coven Witch attacked. We can escape, but I desperately need your help first. The witches must have stashed my belongings nearby. Among them is a small flask. I can open the cell door. Once I do, I need you to retrieve that flask for me. I'll be too weak. And until I have it, you're in significant danger. I swear, I intend you no harm. If I don't get that flask back, however, my intentions won't matter. Retrieve it. Then we'll break out of here together. Don't be afraid. This may be jarring, but it's a necessary part of the plan. Give it to me. Yes, that's better. Thank you. I could feel my control slipping away. Yes, that was blood. But I swear there's no cause for alarm. Not every vampire is a monster. I'm part of a group that only drinks from willing donors. We regulate the actions of less scrupulous vampires. I belong to House Ravenwatch, one of the noble houses of Rivenspire. We adhere to the teachings of our founder, Count Verandis Ravenwatch. We take no blood by force, we help those in need, and we curtail the actions of more hostile vampires. We go where we're needed. I was investigating a burial site in Bankurai, when I discovered smugglers stealing ancient remains. I followed the trail, ran into the witch, and... Well, you know the rest. Now, we need to get out of here. Sort of. I regained enough of my senses when they carried me in here to remember the way out. It's pretty straightforward. I'll guide the way if you defend us from anyone who blocks our path. If we work together, I'm certain we can escape. Follow closely. You never know what's wandering around in these old barrows. I wonder why the witches are storing all these things. See if you can find a weapon. I'll grab something more suited to my skills. That looks dangerous enough. Now come on, this way. What are you 
two doing out? Urgala still has need of you. That's the brute who threw us in our cell. We have to get past him. I'll put you two milk drinkers back in your cage. The only way out is through him. I'll support him. Strike him with a light attack. Hit him again. Hit him again. You're fast. But you can't withstand this. Don't let his head strike him while he's off balance. Lock that attack. Hit him again. Get your guard up. Strike back. Get blocked what you can't see. Break free from that stun. Break free, my friend. Can't get out of that. Another heavy attack. Press your advantage with a heavy attack. Stop his attack. Interrupt the attack. Time to end this. Finish him off so we can escape. The smell of the lock is overwhelming. We should move on. Weapons. Grab anything you think might be useful.
giant frostbite spider. Kill it, my friend! On the bridge. As you'll see, the storm's effects will be quite devastating. As long as everything is ready for the first harvest of Gather, I will be pleased. Very curious. Let's talk for a moment. That was Urgala, leader of this branch of the Ice Reach Coven. She's the witch who locked us in the barrow. The others take their orders from her. I'm not sure, but I believe he's one of my kind. They mentioned a devastating storm. We need to find out exactly what they have planned. My apologies, but we're going to have to postpone our escape. make an investigator out of you yet. I need to figure out how those stolen remains, the Ice Reach Coven, and that vampire are connected. Let's catch up to Agala and her guest, and see what we can find out. Should be able to catch up with Matron Ogala through here. and their servants are everywhere. We could sneak through if you wish to avoid more battles.
Should be just up ahead. Hurry! We must reach that clearing!
They bear the same symbol as the ones I saw in Bankrai. Storm ritual is a thing of beauty. Kill a god! Maybe that will stop the storm from growing. Harvest. did it. The storm's dissipated. I wish we could have learned more before we killed Matron Ergala. I still don't understand what the Coven has planned. And it's the not knowing that worries me. That's true. And we stopped that storm. My investigations have led to even darker corners, but progress has been made. Here, consider this a stipend from Ravenwatch. For your valuable assistance, of course. Now let's get out of here. The Ice Reach Coven's presence in Western Skyrim concerns me. But we need to keep moving. The path down is through those doors. Outside. I'll point you towards Solitude. Go to the city and warn them. Whatever the Coven has planned, it didn't end here. Not right now. Other members of the Ravenwatch came here ahead of me. They'll be interested in the vampire we saw, and I need to get word to them. Besides, I want to follow the trail while it's fresh. So it only makes sense that you warn Solitude. We're in the hold of Hafengar in western Skyrim. Solitude is its capital city, and the seat of High King Svargrim. If we can find any help against the Coven, it will be there. Head to Solitude and let the authorities know what happened here. The Nords don't tolerate Reachmen in their territory. Once you warn the guards, I'm sure High King Svargrim will dispatch his troops. The Coven's threat is as good as done. But just in case, I'll tell my fellow Ravenwatch what happened here. As I said, my investigation began in an ancient burial site in Bankurai. Drogakin were using similar urns, filling them with remains. Most disturbing. The ash and bones belong to a dark army that once roamed the land. The Grey Host. I have no idea. When I stumbled into this nest of coven witches, I never expected to find a connection to the Draugakin and the burial urns. And the vampire we saw. There's something more at play than we know. We need to find out what.
This way, my friend. The road ahead will take you straight to Solitude. Go. Warn Solitude of the danger. I need to make contact with the Raven Watch. There's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Information. The Ice Reach Coven. At work in the West. Just need more proof. Go! They're coming! Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Don't start spreading rumors about reach witches. You go panicking the good folk of solitude and I'll toss you in a cell. And how is it you know so much about this witch work? And my grandfather killed 12 giants with his bare hands. But at least he had the good grace to string a few of their teeth around his neck before he made the claim. Got any proof? Or do you want to reconsider making a false report, eh? The word of an outsider isn't worth mammoth spit. Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, and you'll wind up just like him. Mind your own business, or you'll find that solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators and strangers. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you.
I mean it. One step closer, and I'll stick you like a hawker. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Dead? Stone's mercy. And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was... nice. The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. We are stuck between the death spot of Markarth and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. They'd be wise to. The only time Richmond and Nort meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor, or writing for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachman would hire Nords, so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. A wild land full of wild folk, located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachman and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing Reachman wandering the streets of solitude, it makes me nervous. You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the Richmond do to folks they capture? Better to slice your own throats than let those barbarians take you alive. If they raid our hold, just run and don't look back. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of it. Take Brondel's horse and run.
I'm so hungry. A fascinating application of the technique. Accustomed to stairs, but I reached my threshold for Gawkers a long time ago. Move along. I'm waiting for someone. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact, or this will go very badly. We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Lyris Titanborn, your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svargrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Trouble from the Reach is as common as snow in winter. That will not be enough for Svargrim to accept the help of outsiders. His hatred of Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf. But you and Lyris must bring me proof my husband cannot ignore. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Yoren, and not necessarily in one piece. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest. Should we not be wary of such a man? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact Rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. You will not easily earn the High King's trust.
You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yorin exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as Yorin claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yorin exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you. It's enough for me to believe your intentions. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Yorin's ambitions for the ruby... Frankly, yes. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondolt? Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondolt was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondel thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Brondel mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Spargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. What is it? I'm not the first Nord from the East to receive a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. This is taking longer than I She's crazier than a cat on a school. How about a coin or two? The Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. Greetings. Hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice! There a reason you're interrupting our game, Hawkface? Don't know any bronze old. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. My friend asks nicely, talk, or the next thing to roll will be your heads. Kasala, Kasala! She handles all the smuggling and solitude. She, her warehouse is on the docks. That wasn't so hard. Come on, partner, we're done here. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven what? up the place.
It must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Hey! Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Vanna? Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father send you? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then, a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe? I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Let's talk outside, partner. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? That's Casella's warehouse. Only one sentry. Let's try not to Private cause a scene. Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? Blood and blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait. Is he here too? Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep Fair Lyris company in her stead. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? It would mean so much to my son. When I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? Oh, thank you, thank you! You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said to him, but this is our chance. Try the lock.
Good job with the sentry. You got rid of him and I didn't have to bash him or anything. See if you can pick the lock while I keep watch. Really? I feel like I've picked a thousand of them by now. Here you go. I've got plenty. See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. I knew whoever was poking through our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High King? Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the Reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? No name. Just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see the same face twice. Last time it was a smooth-talking Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. The Breton was sly. Handsome, even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. That won't happen again. Rondald had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. But for what purpose? Hmm. The Coven was also perfecting some kind of ritual in Ice Reach. Something to do with storms. If these fetishes are from Ice Reach, you may be onto something. Still, why involve the locals? Seems like an unnecessary risk. Good idea. Head there while I circle around from the other direction. Maybe I can catch them before they reach the lodge. Just be careful. I'd rather not lose another partner at this point in the investigation. Give your sentry my best, and tell him I owe him an autograph. Oh, he's gonna get more than an autograph if I see him again.
have more than I need, so I'll just feast on you. Over here, partner. All I found were these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? Kilcreath? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? We're running out of time. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilcreath Temple and alert Meridius priests. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. You'll be going up against the Coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means. But don't take any unnecessary chances. I still don't want to lose another partner. Good luck.